Now that Windows 11 is arriving on a PC near you, you might be wondering how to get the apps that you need. There are currently three ways to get apps, with a fourth to be added soon. Today, you can download and install apps, you can visit the Microsoft Store, or install progressive web apps or PWAs from websites. We'll show you how to do all of these today. Soon, there will be a fourth way to get apps for your Windows 11 device, Android apps via the Amazon Store. As with nearly all previous versions of Windows, you can install apps directly on your device. The exception to this is if you have a Windows 11 device that comes with S mode. If you have a device in S mode, you'll be limited to installing apps only from the Microsoft Store. You can take your device out of S mode, and we'll leave a link to the Microsoft website with information on that in the video description. So for example, you might want to use an app like Autodesk's Fusion 360. So you go to their website, you sign into your account, or you look for a download link, and you download the version that suits your computer. Run through the installer, and Fusion will be ready to use, and it will be in your Start Menu Apps list. The second option is to install an app from the Microsoft Store. Like most modern devices, your Windows 11 device has a store where you can download and explore apps. Many are free, some are paid. Unlike other stores that rip their customers off with 30% fees, Microsoft only charges 5% to developers to use their payment facilities for most apps. And it's completely free for developers if they offer their own in-app payment solutions. That's good news all round. More money stays with the creator and the developer of the software, and ultimately you pay less for better software. The new Windows 11 App Store has just been updated, and there are many top apps here like Spotify, Netflix, TikTok, and Disney+. When you find the app that you want in the store, simply click to install it. Generally, if you download an app through the store, the store will automatically keep the app up to date. That works out much better since developers don't need to install extra software that hogs up resources running in the background, wasting your battery life to check for updates. However, there are some exceptions to this. For example, if you download Zoom through the Microsoft Store, you'll find it under Zoom Cloud Meetings. You'll notice that there's this little note over here that says, provided and updated by Zoom Video Communications. That means that Zoom will continue to do its own updates. And in my experience, that means that when I'm running late and I'm just connecting to a meeting, it's gonna prevent me from joining until I run the update, which is a little bit of a pain. But maybe they'll change this in future. So with Microsoft's progressive approach to fees with Windows 11 and more software developers getting on board, the store is now one of the best ways to get an app whenever possible. However, be careful, there are still many exceptions to this. Because Google and Amazon typically don't publish their apps for Windows in the store, you'll find some dodgy alternate versions. For example, you'll see apps like these when you search for Kindle. Now the real Kindle app is free and it's not currently in the store. So these apps are not the ones that you're looking for. Pretty soon, you will find the real Kindle app in the store via Android, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Apps in the store have gone through a security and verification process, so even though it might be missing some of the top names, you can have a greater level of trust when you're downloading apps from the store. Oh, and by the way, if you're into games, you can download and install the Steam and Epic Game stores where you can find many A-grade titles. On Windows, you're never locked into just the Microsoft Store. Next, there's Progressive Web Apps or PWAs. A website that has a Progressive Web App to download will appear with a notification in your browser address bar. Here's how it looks in Microsoft Edge. Click on the icon to install the app, and it will show up in the apps list on your start menu. It's as simple as that. You can install apps like Outlook, OneDrive, Google Maps, YouTube, and many more. I'll leave links to our videos on PWAs below. And lastly, Android apps. As of October 2021, Android apps are not available for everyone just yet on Windows 11. Right now they are available for Windows Insiders in the United States, so we have some idea of how this is going to work. Microsoft have worked with Amazon to make Android apps available through the Microsoft Store. And this integration between the Amazon Android App Store and the Microsoft Store opens Windows up to millions of touch-first phone and tablet apps and games. For example, the genuine Kindle Reader app from Amazon would be available to download at last on Windows, rather than the dodgy PC app that they have available to download from their website that seems to have been forgotten about in the 90s. The Amazon App Store doesn't attract the same attention from developers that the Google Play Store does. So this new feature may not instantly deliver all of the Android apps that you were hoping for on Windows. 
for example, Google Apps like Maps and YouTube. However, early reports tell us that thanks to the Windows subsystem for Android, it is possible to sideload Android apps outside of the store. So it'll be possible to get the apps that you want by downloading the easily available APK installer files. It's conceivable that someone will even find a way to install the Google Play Store, even if it's without Google's blessing. We expect Android apps to ship to everyone sometime in early 2022. At that point, you'll be able to download Android apps from the Microsoft Store via the Amazon Store on your Windows 11 PC. As soon as that feature is available, you can bet that we'll be making a video about it. So make sure that you have subscribed and hit that notification bell. Tell us what apps you use the most in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.